guys, welcome back to another episode and if you're new here, stick around and escape the ordinary with us. We've got snacks. You have the crocs. We're about to go spot a croc now. We've got our first creek crossing. We're dying for a swim. Oh my god! Our first green end. There's definitely a better floaty because I'm simple. They saw a two metre crocodile. A big red belly black snake. Just. So Nathan and I have just pulled into Derby. We are at the Gibb River Road sign and we are about to start our trip through the Gibb. So stay tuned for this video. It's going to be an awesome one. We cannot wait to show you what we get up to, what we do, our recommendations on the Gibb, where we stay, everything else. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned, guys. You're going to love it. So we're at our campsite. We are staying at Leonard River Rest Stop. Um, we've just woken up and we're cooking breakfast before we head on the Gib and do some adventuring for today. So we're actually doing this entire Gib trip with Oz Adventure Life. They're another couple that is traveling on the road. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really fun to do that with those guys and get some really cool videos and photos and everything of all the places we go to. So stay tuned for today's video, we cannot wait. Alrighty, we're on the hike with OZ Adventure Life. They're doing a bit of YouTubing too, so hit them up. Alrighty guys, if you're not from Australia, we have that many dangerous animals. We've got the spiders, we've got the snakes, and I'm in pretty much the territory right now, going through the bushes. Then we also, so you got the left side, you got your spiders, all right, in the trees, and then below us, we've got the snakes that if they bite you, you die, so you gotta be careful of that. And then on the right side here, you have the crocs, and they'll probably snap your leg off and pull you into the ocean. And then you got the piranhas. Nah, joking, we don't have piranhas, but you gotta be so careful in Oz. Look, we're about to go spot a croc now, so stay with us. This is that much fun. Alrighty, Mum. We're being crockwise. I've got a stick. I've listened. <laughs> Oz Adventure Life are a bit more crazier than us. Alrighty, we're on the croc hunt. Just for the YouTube. Yeah. Look at the bubbles coming up. <laughs> oh! The girls are running. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I don't really feel it like being a Crocs dinner. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Got our first mini creek crossing. Got the creek. <laughs> Psycho. Now it was adventure life. <laughs> Watch out, she's pretty big. <laughs> With the caravan. <laughs> Now how am I going to get over? Didn't really think that one through because now... Oh my god, there's something in there. Oh f How am I going to cross? Nathan, you have to pick me up! <laughs> Didn't really 
you think that one threw and I heard something in the water. He's coming back to me. Hey guys, so we're on our way to Battle Gorge. We've got our first creek crossing, so we'll show you what it's like. It looks a little bit deep, not too hard. Everyone's getting through pretty easy, so. You! Alrighty, next stop, Bell Grove. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Bell Grove? Bell Gorge. Bell Gorge. Why is that so hard to say? Alright, we just made it to Bell's Gorge and we're taking the hike. Class 5 apparently, but more like a class 2. And only a K in to get to the bottom where the gorge is. Keen for a swim. Hopefully, there's no cro crocodiles. After a hike in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse. He's so cool. Oh, I could spend all day here. Same. Get f yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just made it to the gorge. Look how nice these tools look. Like a little. <laughs> Time for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the main hole now. You see a lot of people. Check it out. So we went for a swim at the top and now we've made it down to the bottom. So, so pretty. Might go for a jump off this time here. Wow, yeah, this place is incredible. If you loved Karajini, you'll love this place even more. Alrighty guys, we've made it to the waterfall with OZ. Let's go. Morning guys, so we've woken up at the Aminji campground on the Derby Gibb River Road. Um, it's just close to Bell's Gorge. It's a paid campground, $20 per person. But yeah, we just stayed here nice and easy um, and uh, yeah, easy access to Bell's Gorge from here. Um, you would have seen that all yesterday. It was so much fun. Um, but yeah, today we're doing Adcock and Galvin's Gorge and we're going to try and stealth camp around there. So we'll show you what we get up to. Might have to pay, but we know a few spots that you can stay at. So yeah, we'll bring you along with us for today's journey it's going to be so much fun we're just packing up the tent now and everything else getting ready for the day can't wait all right guys we're just pulling up to adcock gorge we're just going through the track now it's pretty easy nothing too crazy um but yeah less creek crossings and more like rocks and stuff to get over but nothing too hard so we'll pull up here and then walk and we'll 
show you. We did have don't know what to expect. We actually didn't look up the gorge or anything. So hopefully we can swim because it's so hot out here. We are dying for a swim. So when you get here, there is no tracks or any signs. All you can hear is a waterfall and people screaming. Oh, yelling and in fun. Not because of the crocs, hopefully. But sort of making our own little track. Hopefully this is the right way. And I'm assuming it's over there. So we'll see. Alrighty guys, we have made it. How good is this? Got the crew behind us. Imagine, imagine Tropical so trees and a uh, croc infested water. Yep. Beautiful. What's the first thing you're going to do? Not backflip. <laughs> <laughs> People are jumping over there. Alright, should we go that way or this way? Yeah, okay. mm. Do we want to make friends or do we want a VIP? VIP booth? Or... I, I think maybe that way. So he just backed it off the top of that cliff and he's about to do it again. I'm going to get it on the camera so I can show you guys. He's going to be wicked. I don't know how he is so brave. That is so hard. Ouch. Was it? Yeah. So good. <laughs> You're crazy. All right, guys, just finished that Agcock Gorge. It was so much fun. The boys jumped off the cliff, and me and Caitlin got some awesome videos of them. I went swimming in the gorge too. It was so beautiful there. And now we're gonna go check out Galvin's Gorge. Caitlin's got it all down. <laughs> she knows what we're doing. <laughs> Alright guys, we've just pulled into Galvin's Gorge car park and we are going to take you guys on the walk through to the gorge. You can swim at this one too, so we're super keen to jump in for another dip. Yeah, it's about 3 o'clock, so... No, it's 2. It's, I think it's 2, two now. Yeah, 2 oh, yeah, it's 2 o'clock, so hopefully we can get one more backflip, one more <laughs> cliff jump in. So. Before it starts to get so dark, because it's getting, getting dark. Getting tired, getting yeah. tired. We haven't had lunch. Yeah, yep, and it gets dark a little bit earlier down this way as well, so yeah, we want to get back to the campsite before dark, the Sabo, but yeah, super, super keen, this one's meant to be beautiful as well, so can't wait to show you guys. Also, this gorge is about maybe 25 minutes to 30 minutes further than um, Adcock Gorge, sorry, I keep forgetting the gorges, it's just so hard to remember both the gorges when they're like you visit both of them on the same day so yeah about 30 minutes from adcock and then you're here so it's easy enough to definitely do two of the gorges in one day time for a little snacky what are we having a snack babe what's the snack tuna tuna and rice crackers yeah i reckon nice watch it caitlin's first a screen ant in the mouth you must be hungry i just want to try Try it. I reckon you and just you kill it kill. and then in the mouth. Like kill it, yeah. Oh, poor bastard. Probably had a family. She's got it. Little daughter. <laughs> Michael, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, that's not sour. It tastes like a lolly. Oh my goodness. Really? Really? Yeah, no, it's actually good. <laughs> oh, now I'm going to kill a poor bastard. <laughs> what the hell? I wonder why those kids were eating them. You sure you can eat them? No, you can, I swear. This is so pretty. We just arrived at Galvin's Gorge and oh my god, it is so, so pretty. Ready? Yeah. 
Are you joking? I am dying to jump in for a swim and Nathan's already on the hunt for his next jump spot, I'm sure. Yay! Nathan's trying to get a green ant for me to eat. I'm so scared. Oh my god! The poor ant! Two vans there and one pasta. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we've pulled into camp for tonight. We're staying at a free camp actually, and it's about two kilometers away from Adcock Gorge. It's just like another turn off on the road. Um, and there's a few campsites here with like fires already made so we're gonna have a fire tonight um we're having an early dinner because we had such a big day and we want to cook before the sun gets down there's caitlin hi just chilling just chilling chillin out <laughs> um and yeah so show you what we, we're making for dinner hello How are we? so nathan's cooking up some burgers and i'm gonna have what am i having you're gonna have some fish fish with migraine our migraine noodles Nathan's got our sponsor shirt on today. These are all the brands that we've been working with on this trip. So thank you to all those brands. We absolutely love the products and accessories that we have on this car. They've all worked out so amazingly for us. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're currently cooking dinner out of our Cora Fred canopy. Nathan cooking up a storm, making life on the road so much easier. Come also, around here. if you come around here, you can see in the GTU canopies, you get a chopping board that pops out, chuck your onion on the cooker, put your sink in here, tap, got nice cold water and hot. When it's plumbed in, we haven't plugged it in yet. Yeah, all you gotta do is a few hoses, plumb it all the way under the car, it's that easy. Woohoo! So we had another little boo boo. Someone put the bread in the pantry and it gets really hot so all our bread has gone mouldy so now we don't have bread but that's okay. We will live. We will live without bread. When Beck means someone, she means herself. <laughs> you can put it in the pantry, not me. I always put bread in the fridge. I don't know about you guys but bread goes in the fridge. You reminded me of that. Michael on wood, Nathan on fire. Team effort. Do team what? efforts. The dream team. Right? <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am up high in our rooftop tent and there is a reason. I was packing up the chairs just before and I turn around like a meter behind me, a big red belly black snake. Just straight, straight across, nice and slow. He didn't even look at me or, or flinch. And I've literally turned, froze, and I'm like, F there's a snake! And that was probably not the best idea and he went, took off. But soon, I'm gonna go to the bush, that where he is, and I'm gonna video up for you, because what a boring YouTube channel this would be if I didn't. So stick around and forever escape in the ordinary with us. Let's go. Wow, we guys, what a morning. Nathan found a snake. This is our first snake of the trip, and I am not getting out of the car because snakes are my biggest fear. But anyway, we're ready to leave our campsite for today. We're actually heading to Manning Gorge, so we're so, so excited to check that one out today. And I cannot wait to show you guys as well. These gorges on this trip have been so amazing, so beautiful. They literally just get better as we go down. And I can't wait to show you what this one looks like. So Nathan's jumping in the car now he's got a stick with him for some reason bloody snakes gotta gotta be careful he's trying to rustle up the snake we're I in the car though so we should be safe <laughs> 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 
Um, it is already so hot. It's only like 7.30 a.m. right now and it is boiling hot. Um, yeah, it's so Wind beautiful down here. Sun. Conditions so far are good. I think this is our last like our last bit of good road before the conditions are meant to get really really crappy so we're going to enjoy this last nice drive while the conditions are good and the road is still smooth um so yeah it'll be interesting to show you guys how the conditions on the road are on this trip and yeah stay tuned because it's going to be a good one Alrighty guys, we have found camp. I've got the OZ, Oz Adventure Life Axe. It's done some damage over here. We're gonna have a great fire and you guys are gonna be the first people to see it. So let's go. So we've pulled into our campsite already. It's about 11 a.m. We are staying at Mount Barnett Station and it's right next to Manning Gorge. So you can walk to the gorge from the station. It's about a five kilometer return. Um, so we've got our setup all ready and all done. Michael's getting some drone videos at the moment which is pretty cool. We'll get ours up a little bit later to show you exactly what our campsite looks like. Um, but yeah, we are just getting ready to head down for the walk to the gorge and we will show you what it's like when we're there. Set up on point. Nah, don't make it too heavy. No, that one's right. As part of the hike, we have to swim all our bags across this lake. <laughs> and it gets really deep. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fall. What's in here? Ah. There's some freshies in this um, river crossing. Ah, uh, there is. Oh, it feels. There's a warning that there is. It feels so nice. It on says it. Says if you see them to leave them alone. Actually. There's definitely a better floaty because I'm sinking. There's a few there snakes lurking one? around in here. Yeah, Seeing right. a few little black snakes. Not sure what they are, but they're in there. Yeah. All right, we are almost at the gorge. We've had a few people pass us, saying we're almost there now. We are on the descent. On the what do you call it? Ascent. <laughs> Up a bit rocky, but that's okay. Keen to jump in for a swim. How are you going, babe? Yeah, good. If you guys are going through this path, make sure you get one of the Zolio devices because we've seen a few snakes, so a bit of a safety device wouldn't hurt. Exactly. Alrighty, team. We have made it. Morty Gorge. Manning. Manning Gorge, and this is next level. What a hike. Two and a half Ks, level five. Black runs, and we've made it. <laughs> we've got Oz Adventure Crew, waterfalls pumping, and we're going to do some flips and have a little bath, little bath and dive. So you'll see them in the next clips. Let's go. Dooly dooly, I am a sweaty mess. That hike it was quite hard. Not going to lie, it is really really hot. So would recommend if you are heading to Manning to do this in the morning. Because wow, but. That is all worth it. Oh Definitely goodness. worth it. All right, so unfortunately someone just told us that they saw a two meter crocodile in here yesterday. So now I am absolutely terrified. I don't know how I feel about jumping in for a swim if there's a two meter freshie in here. They say they don't hurt ya, but I'll tell you what, if you land on one, that thing's going to snap at you and the boy's going to go jumping off the waterfall, so you better not be sitting right below it. <laughs> ah! I think I'm just going to sit on my picnic rug for now and enjoy some jack and dip. That's the plan.
back from the gorge. We just had amazing showers. We're staying at a paid campground tonight, so that is the luxury that comes with paid campground. Beck's on dinner duties. We're having fish and potatoes. Beck's favourite uh, dish to cook in that right there. Yeah, absolutely love it. And then on this side, we've got the OZ Oz Adventure Life. <laughs> They're doing a mad as burrito bowl and what else? I'm just having rissoles and veggies. Yeah. Plain yeah. so, basic. Cane. I reckon they're winning. I think I'd rather <laughs> that, but Beck loves a fish, so give that a go. And then earlier today, we got all this firewood all prepared. And yeah, we'll see you in the morning and off to the next adventure. See you guys.